Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of my Sims 3 Island Paradise Let's Play. So if you have never watched one of my Let's Plays before, do not worry. Uh, you do not need to watch any previous generation, any previous... Oh my god, people are learning things. River has gotten the master of the Genesis building blocks. Okay, you can stop, River. You can stop using that. All right, sorry. I am a Cotton Sock, or Maddie, as I am called here on YouTube. And I have played with this specific family's lineage for 10 generations. Island Paradise marks 10 generations and this series is what is called a legacy here on youtube that is a let's play legacy a legacy is basically you play with one sim and then they have babies and you play with their baby then you play with their baby and then you play with their baby so it's like a generational sort of challenge that is what a legacy is and then the let's play the lep part of it is a let's play so a let's play legacy a legacy that is what i have been doing now if you were like oh my god i gotta start from season one and watch up until now do not worry i do a really good job at recapping what we did in the previous season who these sims are what makes them tick and loud music i thought i'd be cute and like do like a little cute island sort of music but it's just gonna be loud so now we gotta turn it down anyway as this marks season 10 we are currently living in the lovely world of isla paradiso now i have uploaded a fix guide a couple of days before this is going out here so if you guys would like to see everything that i use to fix my island paradise game because this town is notorious for its lag for its problems and i also at the same time still have straight progression and all my enros mods enabled i will leave a card in the top right where you guys can check out that video because i think it'll be helpful for a lot of people to see that so it is there for you to watch it is waiting it is waiting for you guys to see it anyway i have moved all of our families that were important from the last season we will get into meeting them but we do have a couple of familiar faces for this brand new season Season, which I think is going to be really fun. But why don't we focus on our main family before we start to jump in to other families. So this storyline takes place about six months after the last season, the university season. Last season, we lived in the town of Riverview, which is a Sims 3 store world. Now we are obviously living in the world of Isla Paradiso. Now this season storyline, as I mentioned, takes place six months after the last season. And the family is currently picking up and living in Isla Paradiso because Skip's sister, who by the way is a new face in this series we have never met her before she is having trouble with her struggling resort so skip and meadow have decided to kind of give up their life of the sciences meadow is a level nine she actually reached the top level of the science so she's pretty much all set anyway and then skip wants to be a surgeon so he's probably gonna do like day surgeon nights he's gonna do the resort kind of stuff but skip's sister phoebe who is a resort owner here in isla paradiso has a struggling resort it is going to succumb to their father's is actually monopoly he has on every single resort. Luther here, who is Skip Stad, owns all the resorts in Isla Paradiso except one that is owned by his eldest daughter, Phoebe. Obviously, this causes a major fractured relationship in the family. Phoebe is basically estranged from her parents, from her family, and Skip is basically the only one in the family that still has contact with Phoebe. Now, obviously, Meadow and Skip are going to side with the little guy, the small business that Phoebe owns of the resort, and not Skip's father who has literally a monopoly he quite literally owns every single resort property i had him purchase every single one uh just to do a little bit of setup for this season but yeah so if i were to go into his family right now guys he owns sparkling sands he owns la costa verde he owns i think there's one more right no there's just this one over here which is the hobbit's hideaway which is the one that phoebe actually owns so he quite literally has a monopoly on every single one in this town so yeah skip comes from a very rich family i mean it makes sense he is a doctor like he has three degrees do you guys see that he has how does he have three degrees can i ask i actually didn't know he had three degrees i think he started three degrees just by like the graces of story progression i just gave him the three degrees but yeah i mean it makes sense maybe he like used his influence and his fame or his parents did to kind of get him those three degrees so anyway long story short that was in the last season if you guys would like to go and watch that there's a playlist all over my channel of every single generation meadows up here doing her school cheer she's getting um rained on right now rain on me rain on me rain rain 
I'm gonna have her go downstairs and serve up some dinner for everybody. Let's have her go make some organic, ha actually no, don't make hamburgers because you're a vegetarian. I completely forget that she's a vegetarian. So in the meantime, I think that we should probably introduce our family and then get into a little house tour. I did make this houseboat. Um, this is the first time ever. If you guys know, I uh, I always say I am not a builder at all. Like I hate building in The Sims 3, in The Sims 4, in The Sims 2. I don't care what Sims game it is. Building is not my forte, but I did decide to give it my all this season. And I made our family's houseboat because this is the last expansion pack before Into the Future. And I'm not too fond of Into the Future. I've talked about this many times before on my channel. Uh, it was my least favorite expansion pack for The Sims 3. So I probably won't be making a house for Into the Future, but I wanted to give it my all for Isla, Isla Paradiso and Island Paradise because I think that you know, this is like the last good expansion pack in my opinion. Okay, don't come for me. But this is the last good expansion pack that came out with The Sims 3. So decided to celebrate by making my own house. We'll get to that in a second though. Anyway, so now that we have kind of gone over the backstory of why the family is here at Isla Paradiso, because it was a little bit strange that the entire family moved here, just like all picked up and moved from Riverview, which is like a very suburban town to literally a tropical island. Let's get into the individual characters that we are going to be playing with as our main family. So of course we have Skip. He is not the Sim that was my heir. This is Skip Taylor. He is a pre-made Sim in the university world. So if you went to the university world right now, you found Skip, he would look the exact same. Obviously he just has a little bit of CC hair. He has some rosy cheeks. I give him some rosy cheeks and he has a nose mask on. That's all I did with Skip. I have a golden rule for my Sims when I make Sims. Um, I don't change facial features. Like that's not my, that's not my prerogative. I don't like to change facial features at all. I don't really want to do that because if I were to change my facial features, I feel like all my Sims would have kind of that same face, that same standard of beauty. I'm sure if you guys go on like the Sims resource and you scroll through pre-made Sims, there is some characteristics on Sims faces that are very prevalent. And I try to stray away from that. So I like my Sims, whatever genetics they get is whatever genetics they get. That is the face that they are going to have. And that goes for all my Sims. So all the following Sims that you guys are about to see are purely strictly from just Sim genetics. And that is that. I'm gonna have River go to bed. He, or let's have him go take a nap. He's getting a little bit tired. And Meadow, go and grab some tofu dogs. Dinner has been served, guys. It's time to eat. So Skip is good, good sense of humor, inappropriate, coward, and lucky. And his last trait is friendly. As I already mentioned, his father is Luther Warbucks Taylor, who currently lives in Isla Paradiso. He is the one that has the monopoly on all of the resorts in Isla Paradiso. And Skip's mom is Winona Taylor. And she is, or she was a famous Bridgeport actress. And so she married Luther and they have three children. So Skip is the middle child. Phoebe is the oldest. And Phoebe has a daughter named Harper. Phoebe is the one that owns a tiny little resort. Unfortunately, it is going under. It is failing. So we will have to navigate that. And then Skip's youngest sister, her name is Taryn Taylor. And Taryn is basically, she profits and lives off of her father's, not profits, but I shouldn't say profits. She doesn't have a job, okay? She lives off of her father's money. She likes to go on yacht trips with their friends and vacations around the world. She is the type of girl to have uh, traveled in the early days of the pandemic, okay? Taryn is hopeless romantic, mean spirited, loves the heat, flirty, and great kisser. Skip's oldest sister, Phoebe, is nurturing, friendly, charismatic, perfectionist, and good. I don't know why she has a job currently. Hold on, I need to fix that. Otherwise, it's gonna like bother the shit out of me that she just randomly has a job. Like, why? Why would you, game? Why do you do that to me? I'm just gonna give her the unemployed job because uh, obviously she's like a resort owner. And then we have Skip, who is the middle child out of all of the children. So Skip obviously has higher aspirations of becoming a surgeon. I feel like this really goes well with like him as a person. He is a very caring, kind, compassionate person. In university, of course, he was kind of an F boy. Um, that's, that is until Meadow kind of like cuffed him and uh, why is it so dark in here? Can I ask why it's so dark in here? But that was until Meadow cuffed him and made him a family man. Let's say it like that, okay? Speaking of Meadow, Meadow was my last season's heir and I absolutely adore Meadow. She has probably been my favorite heir in a very, very, very long time. She is vegetarian, green thumb, loser, loner, rebellious, eco-friendly, and a virtuoso. Now she has completed her lifetime wish so we can ideally have her quit her job i think tomorrow is going to be her last day and then she's going to be done she's going to be completely done with her job in the science career she put in her two weeks and tomorrow is the last day of her two weeks okay now we had a storyline going for meadow uh, a long time ago when she was a child i'll put a card in the top right of the video where i do a better job explaining it i'm gonna kind of half-ass my explanation so i apologize when meadow was a child she actually had a really hard time communicating with people she would kind of keep to herself she was 
was reclusive she used to sleep in the treehouse in the backyard and never in her room now a lot of you said that meadow actually has uh characteristics of autism commenters were saying you know my little brother my cousin has autism and they have the same characteristics as meadow and i thought it would be a really good kind of representation to include a character with autism me and uh, my viewers kind of came up with the storyline that meadow has autism when she was younger she used to only be able to communicate with animals like she really was close to animals that's where she adopted her little cat misty misty was a stray and misty was the only one that meadow would talk to for days on end like she would not talk to her family but she would have a really easy time communicating with Misty. Misty will die um, probably like halfway through this series, which I'm going to be heartbroken because this was literally Meadow's first best friend. And I don't know if Meadow has come close to anybody as close as she was to Misty. And it breaks my heart. It makes me so sad. But Meadow uh, is my favorite girl boss of all time. She is just like, she just doesn't give a fuck. She just doesn't give a fuck. When she was in university, she used to protest. She used to protest, you know, things that she believed in. She also really loved like environmental environmental activism that's kind of uh, one of the things when she was a university student it's one of the things that she really liked to attend protests for is the environmental activism and she started a bunch of protests um she was very heavily tied into that and obviously her traits reflect that she's eco-friendly she's vegetarian she's green thumb and they do have a garden up here i need to actually buy or have meadow plant some of the seeds that she has in her inventory uh, just so we can kind of get her garden growing because this is a very big part of meadow's personality is her love of nature and gardening and animals and all that kind of stuff so she's our nature related girl and if you notice here if you look on the side here she actually has two green babies so because meadow and skip obviously meadow is employed in the science career tomorrow's her last day but still she is employed in the science career and skip is a doctor they are a couple that heavily believes in the sciences they love the sciences and i think that it's pretty easy to say that sims that are very heavily tied to the science industry also have a kind of affinity for occults so of course Meadow's two children are going to be a cult. I'm gonna wake him up here. He's probably gonna hate me. But here we have River Taylor, which was Meadow's firstborn child, if you can call him that. He is actually a plant sim. I'm sure as you guys can see, he has this really cool pattern, this really cool leaf design on his legs and his arm. He is so cute. I don't know why his nose, I think his nose mask got messed up. That's why his nose has pink on the top of it i don't know why i don't know why it's like that but okay i'm sorry river but yeah here is river um he is very much so like his mom he is got her spitting personality oh my god that boat drove really close to my freaking house boat scared the shit out of me so he hates electronics i'm sure as you can see he's throwing a fit right now but he is a technophobe he loves the outdoors and he is good so just like his mom he loves the environment i mean he's a plant sim he was literally born from a plant sim seed if you guys don't know plant sims come with the sims 3 university so of course i had to show them off and you can actually find forbidden fruit seeds out in the world then you can plant them in a planter bowl or just like outside on a plot and if we were to plant this right now meadow would literally have another plant sim baby that would be her, another child so every one of these seeds right here is a baby there's a baby in here the forbidden fruit seed now if meadow were to eat this forbidden fruit seed, i think she can eat them she would actually turn into a plant sim herself so it's pretty cool i actually I really like the sims 3 plant sim system i think that in sims 4 actually plant sims just got released um as of the date of this video so it's pretty cool that they're making a return when river walks he has little flowers that bloom from his feet i'm gonna make river go outside just to show i'm sorry river you're gonna keep getting interrupted buddy i, I apologize so i think it is only when they walk like outside on the actual ground itself so here he goes he's about to start to walk on the ground let's see if he gets those little flowers on his feet okay he's not gonna the flowers it might only be on grass if i am correct river go and walk up there on the grass i just know he's hating me right now i just know it i just know it okay i understand he's not getting the flowers i don't know what it is i want the flowers damn it i want to see your little flowers under your feet okay i guess not maybe he doesn't maybe he's shy he's shy about the flowers okay anyway so that is river river is going to be our heir for this generation which i think is really fun and even though he was born from a seed i was able to do genetics so his face is genetically related to both meadow and skips so if you look at his face he is really really cute when he 
taking ages up actually i'll show you guys right now i love to do this thing where i just bring my sims and cast and then age them up and then we get a little glimpse of what we get to you know play with in the future okay ignore his poorly matched um a nose mask but he looks a lot like his dad skip uh just green he's just green he's got green hair he's got green skin all that kind of stuff and i plan to have river end up with either a mermaid or a merman we don't know his sexuality yet he's just a little child so we will see in the future who he ends up with and it's gonna be really fun to have him and an occult end up with another occult a mermaid and he has the water need which i think is really interesting because mermaids in the sims 3 also have the water need so his future spouse will also have the water need so it's maybe something that they can bond over i don't know and one thing that we should know about uh river or we should note is that he is extremely close to his alien cousin star we'll get into star and star's branch of the family in a later episode i just want to focus on like our main family for now so that we can kind of get that under wraps and everything but please just remember him and star are the best of friends they are cousins and i feel like they also bond over the fact that they're both green i think that's one of the things that's one of their bonding talking points now last but not least the last thing we have in this household is tyson taylor now tyson was a alien abduction baby of meadow meadow got abducted and in my game i roll a 1 through 100 if the number is 15 or below the sim regardless of gender of sex whatever they will get pregnant is that skip yelling at me oh no skip is he's up here he's doing a little school cheer he's scared of the dark okay sweetheart why don't you go inside go to bed it's time to go to bed okay so tyson is named after the scientist neil degrasse tyson he is an alien and i thought that was really fitting because neil degrasse tyson is like an astrophysicist or something so obviously he's very heavily tied into the planets and the galaxy so naming our alien baby tyson is very fitting i think we don't know much about tyson yet he's neat and he's an angler and that is pretty much all we know i forget, I forget the rocking of the houseboat is like kind of nauseating like the way it rocks back and forth Ugh, i don't like that as of now none of the children are like directly related to skip and meadow like river grew directly out of the ground from a forbidden fruit seed and tyson was an alien abduction baby of meadow so they haven't had like a biological child that may potentially change as the further we go into this lp i really would like them to have like another baby like maybe the last child you know it's one that's biologically related to them i think that actually would be really nice so now that we have gone over the family who they are what makes them tick and pretty much covered their backstory and why they're here now in isla paradiso versus why they were in riverview last season why don't we go and give a little house tour by the way oh my god this is so beautiful with like the little sailboat oh it's so gorgeous i love this town it really is gorgeous and i'm getting air traps of course do we expect anything different from isla paradiso so no we love her but what the fuck isla paradiso i think he's over here he's literally getting stuck over here in his own house he's getting stuck in his own house okay let's reset him then he wait he's reset he's on his front door okay i'm just i don't i don't even know anyway i have built this houseboat uh, as i already mentioned and i'm not a builder by any stretch of the imagination i in fact hate building i really despise it i think it's my least favorite part of sims games which is crazy because i know some people just play sims games to build which i i cannot i'm more of like a cast player like i love making sims if you look at my sims they pretty much have a distinct style when i make my sims um and i don't know i just i'm love cast cast is what really entertains me which is why i take like every single sim in my town that is ever born into cast the moment that they pop out of the womb to see how they're gonna look when they age up but anyway here is the living space over here we have a really nice fireplace this fireplace before i get questions is from the sims 2 store set brunch at the old valley mill i didn't know i had this fireplace until i saw it and i was like holy shit i need to put this in here because this is gorgeous look at this thing now is it realistic for a fireplace to be on a houseboat probably not probably not there would probably not be a fireplace on a houseboat but you know what in my houseboat there is we're gonna have a fireplace and because i like it it looks good it ties the room together we have a couple of seating arrangements a sofa over here we have a kitchen this set is the fiesta set from the sims 3 um store it's this one that comes with the ice cream machine and the deep fryer which i didn't put down because i hate my sims just autonomously using it all the time i don't know where this stove is from it might be from another sims 3 store set i'm not actually sure where where is the stove there she is it doesn't tell me what set this is from but it's called the pastoral perfection stove so if you are missing those objects when you download this house if you do decide to download this house that is where they are from the fiesta set and the pastoral stove i don't know where that's from the countertops are from pets and the cabinets are from base game so yeah that's the kitchen back here we have a 
nice little bathroom. All the bathrooms in this houseboat are very small. Um, it's a houseboat, so I had to kind of condense things. Then we have uh, what we call in America, we call this a mud room, which is basically the connection room between like the outside and the inside. So we have a mud room here that leads us out into a beautiful walkout back patio that has a clothesline for our clothing. We have a little seating area and then we have this flamingo, which reminds me of Brandy Brooks, neon sign that she has in her kitchen in her house. I thought that was like an amazing callback. So I needed it. We have the litter box for Misty outside. And I'm going to add a photo of the family. I just got to get one so I can put a little photo in there, which will be really cute. And then over here, last but not least, we have River's room, which I love this little octopus wallpaper. I think this is a custom. Well, it has to be custom wallpaper because this is not some mystery wallpaper. I know that for sure. But if you look at my Tumblr, I'm pretty sure um, that this pattern is on there if you guys are interested. But yeah, I thought it was like so fitting. He has like a little sailor's themed room. Obviously, he's going to end up with a mermaid. So he's got to have that foreshadowing with his wallpaper and just the theming of his overall room. And then I forgot to cover this, but the last part of the kitchen is this little coffee area. We have a little latte machine, a little coffee board thingy. This looks so bad like this. Ah, actually, it looks bad like this from there, but I think it looks better like that. I mean, it's touching the molding on the walls, so maybe I'll put it right there. That looks... I'm not sure which one I like. There's only like two different ones, two different levels I can put it in. I think I much prefer right there. Okay, we're gonna put it right there. All right, so that is the first floor of the house, and then I decided to experiment with staircases because I've never done that. I normally just make like a one-way staircase, but I decided to kind of do this wraparound staircase type beat. So we have a wraparound staircase that leads us up to the second level, which has some clear doors in it and then when you first walk in this is the bathroom it's very basic it's gray it's beautiful it looks modern and then right next to that we have a washer with a couple of laundry soaps and softener and all that kind of stuff right there and then we have a little sitting area just a little lounging area i assume that most of our sims will probably use this downstairs area uh, to relax and stuff like that so maybe this could potentially be turned into a bedroom if i need it i mean it'd be a very small bedroom but it could fit another room right here if i really at the end of the day needed it if they have another child Child. We have Misty's little cat tower here, and then we have the parents' bedroom right out of the living space. It's very basic. It's kind of empty. Uh, I'm trying to keep the lot value down just in case we need the money because I do want to buy some boats for our sims. Like, I want to buy a couple of boats. Obviously, in this world, you don't really need a car because you're traveling through the water everywhere. So, I want to get a couple of boats. Um, I just need like a lot plot because I can't put down a plot. I tried to do it already, but I can't put down a plot for buying a boat. So I'd have to go to like a public lot and I just didn't have the time to find one. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in the Sims 3 Island Paradise, when you buy anything that involves a boat, you need one of these little posts or something. And obviously because we're living on a houseboat, I can't do that. And it has to be facing the water. So I can't do that. I'd have, I have to find like a public lot that has one of these mooring posts. That's what it's called, a mooring post, which is like the equivalent of like a parking spot when base game Sims 3 with the cars and stuff like that. And then if you go out of the parents' bedroom, this is like a place. I don't know. I don't know where to put this because we need this to control the direction of the houseboat. And I had no idea where I wanted to put it. So I just put it off the parents' bedroom. I assume anyway that Skip and Meadow are going to be controlling the boat at all times. Like I'm not going to have River so he won't need to like walk through his parents' room. But even if he does, it doesn't really matter. I just thought it looks really nice too to have it like on the front of the house. So that's why I put that right there. And I think it looks fine. It doesn't look bad. I don't, I, don't, I mean, what do you guys think? It doesn't look bad right here. I don't know. If you download this house, you can change it, right? We have have a little closet right here. They actually have a really big closet compared to the size of their room, to be honest. And we have Tyson's nursery over here. His nursery is really, really cute. It's just green themed because he's an alien. I just decided to go with green. And that is the second level. And then the third layer, which is the final layer. This is my favorite layer of this house. I love it so much. We have Meadow's growing station. This is where she will grow all of her crops and that sort of thing. I feel like this family would be very much so like self-sustainable. Like Meadow would grow all of their veggies and the fruits and all that kind of stuff and they wouldn't really go to the grocery store at all they would very much so eat like a fruit sort of diet fruit and vegetable sort of diet vegan diet if you will and we have a little bonfire we have some lounging chairs back here and then last but not least we have this telescope which we saw in the beginning of the episode this is what skip was looking out of so that is the house there's a link below if you guys would like to download this lovely house once again i did make it um, i'm not a builder so please if you're gonna give me critique please make sure it's constructive okay i did ask in the discord if 
if like anybody had any critique or anything like that to give me uh before i put the finishing touches on it and i mean i got some feedback and i applied it so oh also i put a ladder i never used ladders in the sims 3 um but they did come with island paradise so i figured might as well just throw one in here i mean it's a really good use of space like the ladder is a really good space saver obviously it's different than stairs it's a lot smaller than stairs and they come with island paradise so i gotta show off that feature because it is ladders are fun ladders in sims 3 are fun it took them super long in the sims 4 to add them uh but i think they got them i don't know though like, i think they got them i'm gonna have meadow go downstairs and cook up some breakfast for her family misty is running rampant she is just got a lot of energy she has been up all night you guys know how cats are they sleep all day and then are up all night it's amazing okay misty you need to get out of the way please your mother needs to get downstairs thank you but as i was saying there is a link to this house uh linked below on my tumblr there is a little bit of store cc there is i don't think there's any like actual cc from like cc people actually i know there is because these little soaps and stuff for the laundry room i know these are from around the sims 3 so there might be a little bit but i think most of it is packs and expansion packs oh and this toilet is a uh, sims 3 store this is like the uber sani toilet it's supposed to play music when your sim sits on it but i don't know if that actually works but i read it like wasn't working for people i don't know why i'm gonna skip wake up and take care of his son tyson let's have him go and just attack him with the claw feed him on the floor oh and i think i forgot to mention this earlier um, but even though skip is not like directly related to tyson he does see him as his son it does say stepson okay but obviously tyson was raised with nobody else but skip and meadow so tyson for all intents and purposes even though he is not blood related to skip this is skip's child tyson is skip's child i would like for them to have at least one like biologically related child also i don't know why this house is so dark i can turn this light on and i can okay there we go finally it's on i don't know why these aren't on by default it's like every room is super dark okay there we go put that one on turn that one on that's so strange it's like super hard to see when the lights are all off but there we go he's in here taking care of tyson how cute oh my god i love it so much skip obviously i, I feel like skip would look super good with facial hair i want to put some facial hair on skip i really do maybe he'll like grow out his scruff or something in a couple of days we'll have to see if he disappears one episode with some scruff we'll know that oh skip you know he grew out his facial hair i guess so meadow has graciously made her family some nice breakfast uh before they have to head off to work and school it is monday so you know we got a little bit of working and some schooling to do river actually doesn't have to eat he gets to sleep in because he's a plant sim he doesn't have to eat it says that plant sims absorb nutrients ambiently and then there's the one below it oh it's meadow's birthday it is river's birthday and it's skip's birthday the one below it, though says plant sims just don't need to use the bathroom which i think is funny river's carpool or his bus is gonna come in an hour and then we have meadow she needs to get to work i think it's because she has a car in her inventory they don't send her a carpool anymore but before we wrap up this first introductory episode we are going to hopefully buy meadow a boat so that she can head off to work and we don't have to have her you know take like boat taxis and that sort of thing by the way the science facility is on the water over here which i think is really fun because it has the implication that this is like a marine biology sort of facility which makes a lot of sense because i mean they're on the water i really like that though but one thing that i think is really interesting here is that also on the coast here there is a junkyard which i kind of think speaks to the pollution that isla paradiso has like the beautiful you know blue waters of isla paradiso are being polluted by the junk yard which if you guys know anything about meadow as i already mentioned she is very environmentally active even in university she used to do a lot of environmental activism and that sort of thing so that breaks her heart that breaks her heart to see that right now i'm trying to find a post where i can buy her a boat i don't see any like posts or anything like that i think what i might have to do is go to one of these public lots like let's say we go to this lot right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go buy it on this lot and i'm gonna buy a plot of mooring post or whatever it's called a mooring post here we go perfect okay so if we put this down here and it is taking money out of my family funds so i guess i am providing the residents of isla paradiso with a mooring post so you're welcome guys i hope you appreciate that oh i can actually put this really deep in the water that's kind of amazing i didn't know that you could put, put it that deep in the water okay i guess we're gonna put it all the way out there is that uneven oh my god it's uneven i can't if it's uneven oh my god it's, it's literally uneven i can't it has to be even at least a little bit all right so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over here we're gonna go purchase vehicle and then we can buy all these different boats so there's a lot of boats here that come with island paradise i think i want to get meadow this speedboat they have fifty-five thousand simoleons she is probably 
probably the one that makes the most of that buddy because she's level nine in the science which is like the top of the top i'm gonna buy her a speedboat it's forty five thousand. the description says half a league half a league half a league onwards all in the ocean of fun rode the cool speedboats forward the speed brigade charge for the waves you say in the ocean of fun rode the cool speedboats that's kind of like a fun little i don't even think that's a haiku i think that's just like a little poem that they wrote which i think is kind of fun anyway so she bought her boat here it's in her inventory so we can go make preferred boat and then i'm gonna come over to skip and i think skip is more of like a skidoo we call these skidoos i think that's the name of like a brand that makes the water sled they call them aqua sleds in the sims 3 but skidoo for all intents and purposes in america we call them skidoos it's fast it's fun and it's safe enough for the whole family to ride but one at a time for pete's sake aqua sled watercraft this time it's personal i like that anyways we're gonna buy skip one and now they both have one which i think is so fun it's kind of unfortunate that in order to buy those you have to go to like a public lot because obviously we can't fit a mooring post i mean on our property but it's fine it's fine so um rivers over here he's gonna watch his father oh they're doing silly faces why don't you give your son a little hug before he has to head off to school all right meadow go to work girl you gotta go to work <laughs> it's time to go she's running now she's like fuck i'm gonna be late for work shit on my last day actually she has a whole hour and a half or hour and 15 minutes ish before she has to head off so she should be fine anyway have a good last day of work meadow wait is this a mooring post oh my god this is a i literally didn't see that there was a mooring post right next to our property that's lovely wow i'm honestly kind of mad that i didn't see that i don't think it matters though because it's not on our property at all so i can't even put my skidoo there which is unfortunate meadow girl are you okay you gotta go to work she's like procrastinating going she does not want to go oh she's stuck okay okay sims 3 island paradise okay here the glitchiness begins oh boy all right go here i guess don't go in your boat so okay now she's swimming what the fuck is happening now her boat is stuck what the fuck okay stop 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 what what is going on let's just i can i okay well i mean people did warn me that this pack is very um glitchy and buggy so i mean I, I don't know what i was expecting all right let's have her get up we're gonna have her head off to work one more time hopefully you know what why don't we try to have her go like over here to begin with wait um let's have her try and go to that beach there we go i think that should be fine as long as she doesn't get caught on like the corner of oh, she's wearing a bathing suit okay i think we're good yes meadow get in your speedboat look at her go oh my gosh she's zooming meadow is fucking zooming to work well she's going to this beach and then we're gonna send her off to work which i think is what cool that she's just a cool cool girl yes i know i know she has to go to work okay i get it game i get it all right now she's in her little science facility outfit there we go all right she's off she's whipping it she has a super fast boat nobody can tell her shit honestly good for you meadow good for you i'm happy for you and for some reason she's gonna go oh she oh it's right over there okay that's not bad at all she's gonna be a little bit late to work but i'm sure they i'm sure they expect that at this point from their clients i mean when you have to go across like three different uh three different islands eh, yeah you might have to start to expect that from your people anyway let's have skip take care of his son here and i think that is going to do it for this introductory episode guys i hope you did all enjoy in the next episode we are going to be bringing in some outside of the family members that we know and love um i'll give you a little hint here they are on meadow's side of the family as you guys can see her brother and her sister kennedy and lee who if you haven't watched the series before we played with and went to university with meadow in the last season but we will invite them to a birthday party tonight we have a lot of birthday party river our heir is aging up to a teenager i can't believe it's happening already and skip and meadow are aging up to adults so that is a huge milestone we have lots to do in the next episode guys i hope you did all enjoy i had so much fun playing sims to island paradise episode one just a friendly reminder if you get confused of who sims are or who is who there is always a plum tree app linked in the description box below plum tree app is a really great way and this is not sponsored this is not a plug i just adore those website and i think it's really good but plum tree app is a way that you can keep track of your family trees and you can manually upload them it is completely free to use you can use it for sims 2 sims 3 sims 4 whatever your heart desires it is a great tool and i highly recommend can you shut up misty she's yelling along oh my gosh she's pissing me off misty misty go and do something please with your life sorry sorry i just freaked out sometimes the animals in sims 3 they just they get my blood they get my blood boiling and that's all okay but yeah if you guys ever get confused there is always a plum tree app linked in the description box below 
them and there is also a link to this lovely houseboat that i built this is my first time building if you guys have any constructive criticism uh please tell me i am new to building in the semester at least i never build so i would love to hear any constructive criticism that you guys have saying simply it's ugly is not constructive criticism okay i'll try my best i try my best i mean i'm sure your first build if you call it ugly i'm sure your first build in the sims 3 wasn't the ritz okay so let's be honest but yeah guys that is going to do it for me i hope you did all enjoy and i will catch you guys all in episode two peace out guys